Fat Magul? Fat Magul. Fatma Gul is sleeping right now. She's pretending. Call her to come eat something before she sleeps. I know she's pretending. She's not pretending. She is sleeping. I saw her sleeping. Oh, I don't care, okay? Let her do what she likes. I already have other problems. Wait a minute. I got it. I, I'll get it. I'll get it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Why did you help her? She couldn't open the door, so I thought that I could help her. Don't help her again. It makes me angry. I get upset, but you don't care about me. Okay, I'll stop it. I won't help her again. I won't, I promise, all right? She's still staying with us, and it's like she's trying to make us leave. We should do something to make her get out of here right away. Look, I just said we should do something. Didn't you hear me? Or we will always have problems. Say something now! Do you hear me? I made the soup that you used to always like so much. <sighs> Come on, help yourself. It looks so good, huh? Hope you like it. Did you eat yet? Uh, no, I'll eat later. Fatma Gul told me that you're leaving. You have your passport and that you showed it to her. So, where are you going? I don't know. You mean it doesn't matter where you're going, is that what you mean? Well, go then. Well, okay, I see you don't want to listen to what I have to say, but you really should care about that girl in there. Listen, you really need to understand. I have to go. I, I, if I stay here, it'll be worse for her. Well, I won't stop you. You have made your mind up, I think. Go away from here. Go then. Maybe you can forget what you did. And maybe you will forget all about us living here. You can be in peace if you go far away. You can have a brand new life out there after destroying a life back here. You can leave this girl in here alone, hopeless. And then you can live your new life. You will start fresh again. I cannot tell you good luck because I don't mean it. Let me tell you what I know I'll be doing. I won't be going anywhere. I won't leave this girl with that woman. <laughs> it will be very difficult for me, too, to stay here with her. But then I cannot leave Fatmogul like that and go away. I am not heartless like that. All I know is I can't leave her. No way. You take care.
Hi, Karem. Welcome. Good, Good evening, evening, sir. Please have a seat. I was planning to call you tomorrow to come here. I wanted to have a talk. You're here, so let's talk. And now we can solve this problem. So there is a problem, then? Look, son. I suggested to Ibrahim that he might rent this house to you. But I don't know you at all. I don't know anything about you. I decided to help because Gallup wanted me to. So I told Ibrahim that you're entrusted to me by a friend that I've known a while. But you make me ashamed. Well, but did we do something wrong? Ibrahim is very suspicious, and he asked about you. He said there's something strange about them, and asked that I check you out. <laughs> and what's so strange about us? We're normal people, right? Ibrahim wanted me to search. He wanted me to learn about who you are. And so I called Gollop's wife. I'm sorry, son, but the things I heard weren't good. And what they're saying about you is not nice at all. Hello there. Come, Emre, have a seat. We were just talking. Okay, then I will. I wonder what they're saying about us now. I think that you know. No, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, okay? It's only lies and slander. Well, I would hope that's true. You know what they're saying well, about you? it's not true. It's not true. But today, Behan heard you arguing. Nobody should talk about what they don't know. Should they? So I said to them that Gollop is my old friend. I told him he would not protect anyone who was guilty of all this. Then don't believe this. I'm telling you that it is a lie, all right? You tell everybody that. 